Hi, in today's class, we'll be discussing how to find the square root of what? Non-perfect squares. Perfect squares are those numbers that you can easily find their square root like 25 is a perfect square because square root of 25 will give you an exact value, which is 5, okay? Um, same thing with 64 is a perfect square. Then square root of 64 will give you 8. Now, in my previous video, we discussed how to find the square root of perfect squares the streak behind it no matter how big the perfect square is for example if six eight nine eight is a perfect square how can you find the square root without a calculator in three seconds if you have um something like 14.44 how do you find the square root because if this is a perfect square how do you find the square root without a calculator in three seconds so if you miss that video i would advise to check on it now, today we'll be discussing how to find square root of non-perfect squares. What will you do if you're asked to find square root of 20? Yeah, 20 is not a perfect square. So what do you do? How do you go about it? In today's lesson, we will discuss that. Now, let's get to it. We know that 20 is the same thing as square root of what? Um, this same thing as 16 plus 4. Yes, it's same thing as 16 plus 4. Now, let me clear you. For you to, have, to be able to use this trick, you should be able to know your perfect squares very well and their square roots. You should know your perfect squares and their square roots, okay? So, the perfect square closest to 20 is 16. So, we can say 16 plus 4 will give us 20. So, we are going to find out what is square root of 16, Okay? Square root of 16 is 4. So we are going to write 4 plus... Now, these two, this 4 we are looking at, we are going to repeat it. Okay? Divided by... um, What is double of 4? Double of 4 is 8. Then we divide. 4 divides itself 1. If we divide 8, we have 2. So we have 4 plus... Now, 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5. When you add these two together, you will have 4.5. So, it means that the square root of 20 is 4.5. Yes. Now, there is another way you can get this. Which other way? Apart from 16, another number that is, uh, that is a perfect square that is close to 20 is 25. So, in this time, it's going to be what? 25 minus 5. Okay? Now, what is square root of 25? That is 5. Plus, okay, it's going to be minus this time because of this minus sign. Now, you repeat your 5 divided by double of this, which is what? 10. Now, when 5 divides itself, one, if you divide 10, you'll have what? 2. Now, this is sentence as 5 minus 1 divided by 2 is what? 0 0.5, right? 0 0.5. Now, 5 minus 0 0.5 will give us 4.5. Now, let's press our calculator and see the exact value of square root of 20. Because this particular trick will not give you the exact value, but it will give you a 90% accurate. The, that is the accuracy is up to 90%, okay? So we have um, 5 minus 0 0.5, sorry, square root of 20 is 4.472. The exact value is 4.472. And that means approximately is 4.5, which is what we got. Okay, now let's solve another one. Let's solve another one. Now let's start from the beginning. We are asked to find square root of 87. Now, what is the closest um, the closest perfect square to 87? That should be 81, right? That should be 81. That is 9 squared is 81. So, we have 81 plus 6. Okay? 81 plus 6. Now, we are going to find the square root of 81 is 9. Now, write your plus 6 divided by... Now, this 9 is what? Double of it is 18. 
So this same thing as 9 plus 6 divide itself. 1. If we divide 18, we have 3. Now, 1 divided by 3 is 0 0.333. It continues like that, right? So that means we have 9.33 as our what? Approximate value of square root of 87. Now, let's check. Square root of 87 will give us 9.33. So 9.327, okay, which approximately is 9.33. Okay, can you do the third one for me? Square root of 107, okay? Just do it and drop it in the comment section and ensure that you don't use your calculator, okay? Do not use your calculator. All right, let's do number four, which is square root of 20. Seven. Now, the closest square to this 27 is what? 25. So, it's what? 25 plus 2. All right. Now, what is square root of 25? That is 5. Plus 2 over double of 5 is what? 10. All right. Now, we have 5 plus 2 divide itself is 1. If you divide 10, you have what? 5. So, we have 1 over 5 right so this should be five plus when five divides one you have zero point if you divide ten you have two okay so that means this is five point two now let's uh, let's check square root of 27 will give us five point one nine six five point one nine six five point one nine six which is approximately five point two so that is it, okay? If this is the first time you are coming across this channel, please don't hesitate to click on that subscription button and then on your notification bell, okay? So that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, share, share to your friends, all right? Okay, thank you so much for watching and I wish to see you next time. Don't forget, if you missed my previous video where I actually taught how to solve Mathemat uh, how to solve your square roots of perfect squares, even decimals. Don't hesitate to check on it after this. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye.